welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green Live Edition. Ah! I need I need like fake background noises. How annoying would my show be then? As though I don't do enough already. Just saying. Solidly saying. Okay, everybody, we are going to get started right away. Thank you, everybody in the chat for being here and being so patient. Um, everybody who has called in, if you would like to call in and join the show live, ask a question about love, life, career, finances, any aspect of your life at all, or connect with a loved one on the other side. The number is 845-277-9131. One more time. 845-277-9131 is the call-in number. Okay. Now, if you are in the chat and you would like to ask a question, I would love to answer that for you also. If you are watching or listening on one of the many, many podcasts, radio stations, or television stations that I air on, you can join us live every Monday at noon or Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those are central time. Today's healing on or clearing on um, TikTok is um, clearing any self-imposed prisons. So yes, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, uh, LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. And here we go. So before the show started, I was getting a name, and I'm going to say that name right away. So if you have somebody on the other side named Betty, or your name is Betty, somebody on the other side is trying to... I hear that song, knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Yeah, and my voice is super salty this evening so whatever songs come out and however they come out i take no pleasure in how they're going to sound <laughs> okay um next um okay sal sal online hey sal sal says he claims betty it, it could be there could be a couple Bettys here, but thank you, Sal. Thank you so much. Betty was here a little bit ago. I even put it in the chat, like, who's who's Betty? Who's Betty here for? Or however I said it. Cindy is here. Heather is here. Jay Francis is joining us. Um, Fawn is joining us. I love you guys. Patrick, if I didn't say Patrick, Patrick's here. I think there might have been other people. Um <clears throat> or not. Um, so, okay. Uh, the next, I'm going to go straight into peeps from the other side. So this may be their name. This may be your name. If you hear your name, that means somebody on the other side is saying hello. If you hear the name of somebody on the other side, that means they are saying hello to you. Um, so I'm just going to start doing names right away because before the show, show started, I was already getting names. Okay. And there are like... <gasps> The names at me so betty john donald um michael i have a michaela here also she came in on monday sh monday show or some show a little while ago there was a michaela also then i'm hearing the name peter and then the name uh, joshua the name that's a name, Jalinda. I feel like that should be more like a song. Like, you know, I need a round away girl. I, I just feel like we should take that beat and put the name Jalinda in there and make a song out of it. Go for it. I, I think it will come very quickly. I just, I just feel like Jalinda should be a song. Anyway, back to names. Um, I know this is a whiskey. I think it's, yeah, it's a whiskey, Jameson. But I also know it's a name. So Jameson, I'm hearing the name Jameson. And then I'm hearing 
the name Brittany and April. I'm hearing the name Ricky. I have a little dude sitting here with me. He's in a diaper. That's all he's wearing. Don't be inappropriate. And he was still young enough to be in a diaper and to have to crawl up on the couch. And right now, little dude is, and I know it's a boy because I'm calling him little dude, climbing up on the couch to sit next to me and watch. He's like just with his big blue eyes and blonde hair looking at me. Love you, little dude. So there is a little guy here. So if you you have somebody who passed, who was younger, um, very light hair, blondish hair, blue eyes, uh, white skin, um, still in a diaper, but could walk and could climb up on a couch by grabbing things and climbing up, he's here. Um, uh, the hair isn't long enough to say if it's curly, Jay Francis. The hair is a little bit shorter, so it does not look curly to me. But he's just like the cutest. He's just like this. Like just staring. It's so adorable. This is like one of the cutest little dudes I've seen come through in a hot minute. This little dude. I, do, I feel like he might not be in a talking stage. Like he might know a couple of words. So he's here to join the show with us. Okay, we're going to go back to names. Um, the name Playing all songs. Shuffled. No, no. That is, that is not what we are doing. They are always listening. I can't turn it off. I don't know what to do here, folks. Hold on. So sorry. Oh, they are always listening. How did that even happen on my computer? Little dude, did you do that? Somebody's going to, I have the feeling, I had this feeling before the show even started today that this might end up being a bit of a spooky show. <laughs> So you guys, if you notice things, if you're watching on YouTube and you notice things, type them in right away. Because a lot of times I have my eyes closed and I don't see things um, like the flashes on the screen all the time. But that was crazy. Oh, my freaking beacon. Oh, I think it's going to be a spooky effing show, folks. Get ready. I feel like I should light some candles. <laughs> because that will make it more spooky. Next Wednesday night, the show will be lit by only candles. <laughs> Wait till you see what we're going to do for our Halloween night show. Yep, there's going to be a Halloween night show. Yeah, expect everybody to dress up. Okay, I'm dressing up. You guys can join me. I should have a Halloween show at my at some place with everybody dressed up. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, back to the show now. Okay, um, maybe I should just have a Halloween party, a Halloween costume party. This is pretty much how my whole brain works all the time and forever. Okay, back to the show now. Okay, um, next we're going to do songs. Uh, so the song could be a song that somebody on the other side loved, a song that you loved. It answers a question that you have. It could be a song that both of you loved or you listen to together, whatever it is. Um, I'm hearing knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door again. I'm hearing um, beer, beer barrel. So beer barrel polka. We got the blues on the run. Ha, 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 ha. Uh, something, something, something. Okay, that one. Um, I'm also hearing um, I'm, uh, this song. It, the guy has like a deep, raspy voice. And I know I mentioned this. I think I mentioned this on Monday's song. But the guy has a, a, a deep. And I can't think of any of the words to this song. I should have looked it up after Monday's show. I didn't think it would come back again, but the way you twerk it, females work it. I don't know. That's all I got. That's all I can sing of that song. If somebody can figure that song out for me in that little bit of a mess, please. Please put it in there, please. Um, okay, focus, Tony, focus. 
the next um the next song that i'm hearing is uh give give me a second i'm trying to get that oh on the road again on the road again uh walk into a restaurant strung out from the cold you can feel the eyes upon you when you just want to explode okay that song is coming through um I'm hearing meatloaf, meatloaf, meatloaf. So because it is a food, I'm going to say this could have been somebody's favorite food or it could be the group Meatloaf Dashboard Lights. I can't think of anything else Meatloaf saying. Okay. Okay. I'm seeing Prince. Prince right there. I wonder if that's really Prince or if they're just showing me Prince and Prince songs. And I'm hearing Purple Rain. Um... And then I am not going to sing Purple Rain. And you are welcome. You are welcome. And then I'm hearing the song. Give me a second. Let me focus in. Raindrops keep falling on my head. Those are not, that is not the words. To the, that's not the next, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to sing what they're saying because I know it's not the words to that song. But Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head is the next song. And then they're, they're the song, Stair, um, I can't sing this even if I try, um, Stairway to, and I'll be climbing the staircase or the stairway to heaven. Um, listen. I'm not putting anybody through that singing thing of me trying to sing Staircase or Stairway to Heaven. Um, and then that song from the, that song from the Hunger Games or the Catching Fire Games movies. Um, are you, are you coming to the tree? They say I Killed, killed, killed a man and something about three. I don't know, but that song is called Strange Things Are Happening and something, something, something. That song is coming through. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of channeling, everybody. So if you're not familiar with the channeling, um, that's where angels step right in and they talk directly to you to give you a message that will help you moving forward. I'm going to keep the channeling short this evening, and I want to remind you, if you'd like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. You can ask questions, connect with loved ones on the other side. And somebody is saying, like, uh, before I get to do the channeling, somebody is saying that um, Papilo, 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 is what I am hearing. Okay, Papilo, whatever that means to someone. Okay, okay. Um, okay, next is the channeling. I'm really trying to focus in on the channeling and I know they're here and I keep thinking of things. Okay, so, so I'm so sorry, here we go. Okay, here we go. We would like you to know that we are always around you. For each and every one of you, you have all of us around you. Each of you has a minimum of two to three angels or angelic ancestral beings angelic beings being beings of higher ascension and your ancestors are always around you and you need not worry if your ancestors are around you can they also be around somebody else but of course they can they're omnipresent whenever you think of us we you will feel us much stronger we need you to share and focus in on the thoughts of us in the upcoming months. We need you to focus in on what you really want your existence to look like, but only the good. 
We need you to focus in on the fact that we do exist and we are here and we are here to help you. We work on requests. It's like if you have employees at a business and you never ask them or tell them what they're supposed to do for or you to help, then they will just sit there waiting for their orders. Please call us in to bring peace and love and don't worry about bring peace to the world. If each of you calls on us to bring peace to you individually, it will shift everything. If each of you calls upon us to bring light and love into each and every one of you, it will shift the balance immediately. Everybody is always so consumed with outside of them. Create world peace, create world love, create world prosperity. It starts with you and expands out. It's, as you would call it, the 99th monkey or the 100th monkey. By the time a certain percentage has it, everybody will get it. And that is when the shift happens. You talk about the shift and you're waiting for the shift. You, you, you are the shift. You are the shift. Okay, I am just going to stop there because that was really, um, I really like that message and I hope it helps everybody who's listening. I hope everybody got that and it helps them. And little dude is still here just like looking all over the little room here. Um, there's also a Jake here and a um, Jasper. Jake and Jasper are also here. Um, okay. So I'm going to start taking questions and callers and so many more people are online. Turn the page. That's Bob Seger. Yes, Patrick. I knew you would know that song too. Um, I actually do like that song. And one more song is coming through and I adore this song. Um, that song, I Can Feel It Coming in the Night by Phil Collins. And here's, I've said this before on my show, and I'm going to say it again. If anybody knows how to do a song mashup, um, if you could take, I can feel it coming in the night. I don't know why I'm acting like I have hand puppets on. I can, I can feel it coming in the air tonight by Phil Collins and mash it up with We Will Rock You. Just the beginning, just the beginning like, I can feel it coming in the air. And then we will, we will. I think that would be the greatest mashup of all times. Mm -hmm. I do. I do. But not the, not the rest of the song, just the beginnings, just those two. That would be the greatest anthem at the beginning of all games. Let the games begin. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, we have Fawn in here who is, um, I think I saw Mimi come in. Mimi, hey Mimi, how are you? Um, Margaret, welcome to the show. We have Angie in here. Welcome to the show, Angie. If I missed your message, um, I apologize. And if you do have a, a question, please do post it. I'll be happy to answer it. Um, uh, there's a mashup with Michael with In the Air Tonight with a Michael Jackson song. Ooh, I would love that. Sounds good. That sounds good. Okay, so now we're going to get to the show. I want to let everybody know I did a, um, a show with Marla Martinson this afternoon, and we talked a little bit about relationships. And I think it was like, um, I can't remember what she called it, uh, but you can find it on, um, I'm pretty sure she put it on YouTube, but she used blog talk also. So that's our, that might already be available if you want to uh, listen to that. Okay. 509. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, good evening. Um, my name is Eric and I'm calling from Washington State. Hey there, love. How can I help you? 
Yes. Um, I was hoping to connect to uh, my auntie or my grandpa. Um, my auntie was re- uh, recently diagnosed with something, you know, um, difficult. And I just wanted to know what they have, if they have anything to say. Okay. Can I please get your grandpa's first name, love? Jose. Jose. Okay. Thank you, love. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you that, um, oh, I wish I, I don't, uh, Okay, so um, here's what I'm going to say. Um, Everything is going to work out and everything is going to be okay. However, I'm not going to... um, um, So first I want to just ask you, do you have a question for your grandpa? Because I think that will be easier for me personally if we just start with a question for you, Grandpa. Because all the, I'm going to tell you all the things I'm hearing. I'm just not ready to say them to you yet. So, what would you like to ask your Grandpa? Um, I just um, I would like guidance because I'm 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 working on the like on the background and I'm trying to figure out like how to help her getting her the right people. And I think that's what I've been asking, like, um, you know, spiritually, these guide us to the right people so that they can help her. And currently she's in the ER. Um, and so, I mean, I'm just, I'm just trying to help finding like the right doctors or finding the right, okay. the right people, you know? Okay. And here's a, Here's what I'm going to say. Those that are in heaven are already working to bring in the best people for the job. They're doing everything they can from their side. So cut yourself some slack and um, go easy on yourself. Um, Whatever it is that she's going through, they've worked with this before and they already know what to expect and what's coming Um, They might not be being completely uh, honest with you about, you might not be getting all the information is the best way that I can say it. You just might not be getting all of the information or they might not be telling you it as, or you might not, whomever is telling you the things about your aunt, they might not be telling you everything okay and there's a couple of reasons for that Mm -hmm. um what i'm going to say is everything the way i need to say this to you is everything is already set in stone um there's not a there's not a um can i just can i can i um yeah. Okay. Um, uh, so, so the best thing you can do at this point is telecommunicate with your aunt. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Thank you. Whew. The best thing you can do right now is telecommunicate with your aunt, which I'm sure you're already very well aware of. That means just like in your mind, talk to her and have full on conversations with her that way. Ask her what she personally needs at this point and what she personally wants at this point and then have acceptance and understanding for that. She is able to telecommunicate with you and she will will do it, especially after 8 or 9 p.m., okay? You're already doing everything that you can. Don't feel like there's more you could or should do at this point. Um, 
people with a lot more power than you, don't be offended, but people with a lot more power than you are already working on being in that place to bring in all the right people and circumstances for everything going on. Um, there are so many questions I want to ask you, but I, I just, I'm not going to while we are on air, but I am going to let you know that those on the other side um, are really working for the outcome that is the best outcome for her at this point. Okay, love? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Yes. Um, yeah, there's, I don't know, I just was hoping that he would be like, oh, find this doctor and, you know, like, I don't know, just, I've been looking for, um, integrative, integrative, um, centers, like hospitals. And so that way they could be like more holistic, but I feel like, um, I just don't really know where to focus on, but I'm researching, I think. Yesterday, I went online and I was like, okay, what questions to ask the doctor? Because I think it's important that we, not me, but like my my cousins that are in charge, they they um, get a little bit more knowledge in, in asking good questions and trying to help her, basically. So I'm going to ask you a couple um, questions, love, just for everybody listening and... Um, First, even if you find something, I'm I'm going to tell you something. I'm I'm really grateful for all the energy you're putting into this. Um, but even if you would find something, it it would be impossible for you to move her or bring somebody in from the outside to help with her. For so many, there would be way too many, who, first of all, the people in charge and the hospital rules and just a, a lot of things, okay? So there's a lot of regulations mm -hmm. and such that would make it very difficult. I, I am going to ask you, um, what, what, what was her diagnosis, love? Mm. Well, um, she's still having, she completed the testing. Um, we still haven't had official results, but I, I know that it started as a variant cancer. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, love. And here's, there are things I could say that people would be very upset if I said on the air. So I'm not going to say it in a way of anything that you should do personally. Um, but I will say it in a different way. And okay. If I, if I found out I had any of that, any place in my body, the first thing I would do is clean up my body and I would take something like hydroxychloroquine, I would take ivermectin, I would take venbendazole, any of those things, they have been shown to be very powerful to get that out of the body. Even in per people with stage four mm -hmm. who have been sent home to call hospice, especially the venbendazole has been shown to be very po powerful to get that out of the body and have a complete recovery. The problem is that as long as she's in the hospital, um, it's the law that the only thing and the number one thing that they use is um, chemo. It's a law, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. It's crazy that that's a law, but hey, mm -hmm. it's okay. It is what it is. Um, what I will mm -hmm. tell you is from this point forward, I want you to take all the responsibility or the feeling like there's something you could or should do out of your hands. Because for the biggest reason is, and unfortunately, you, you unfortunately don't have 
the power that you need in this situation. You don't have any control or power. And even if you do recommend things, even if you show them proof, even if you show them evidence, even if you show them testimonials, they are not going to want to listen to that because in these cases, people are so filled with fear that they're following the doctors and the doctors are doing the things that the doctors also do always do. And I'm not saying that's right or wrong. I'm just saying this is the process and this is where she is with this. I do feel though something, I know you said it was start, it started, you didn't say it started, but ovarian cancer. I'm going to tell you the thing that I feel, and I'm saying this to prepare you not to scare you or make it worse. I do feel like there is something that is spreading very quickly. Now, sometimes that it could be, it could be, it could be, it could be a couple different things, right? Um, but what I'm going to say, whether it's the cancer or sepsis or something else, I do feel like it is whatever it is, it's kind of invasive. And at this, man, this is the hardest message to give over the air. Um, at this point, just pray and be at peace with whatever the end result is and telecommunicate with her, okay? Just do the best you can to telecommunicate with her and talk with her. Um, and that is all I can do and or say while we are on the air. Okay, love? Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I've been, mm -hmm. since last week, since last week, I've been feeling very anxious, like, like very anxious, like I, like, I don't know, like if there was something that I need to be doing or I felt, I just feel very anxious, like time is of the essence. I've been feeling that way. And like I said, she's, she's in the hospital and she's being taken care of. Um, but at the same time, I know that she wants to do like a holistic approach and has been looking, um, has been in contact with a doctor who's, um, you know, more about natural medicine and all that. But I, I just, I just can't help feeling anxious. Like I've just been anxious. I don't know. Sometimes, um, you I, know, I completely really why. I completely understand that. We often get that feeling when we feel like we have. Well, I'll get, sometimes when we feel like we have no power or control over a situation. Sometimes it's when somebody's going mm -hmm. to be going home. Sometimes it's. Um, it can be a number of different reasons why we feel that. Like maybe you feel like her, her wishes aren't being honored. I am going to tell you this. And it, it, just from what I'm getting and what I'm understanding is once somebody is in a regular hospital and they get diagnosed, it is very difficult to have them have a holistic or a naturopathic practitioner come in because outside doctors just aren't mm -hmm. allowed in. But also to even have them leave, the hospital will say they're not in condition to be moved. Whether that may or may not be accurate, the hospital will say that to keep the patient and because they're in their perception and in what they're doing, they're trying to save that patient. The only thing, and I can't even, I can't even say it on the air. Um, if she, it, because even if you take supplements in from the outside, they might say she's not even allowed to have them at this point. So, the, don't feel mm -hmm. overwhelmed. Don't feel stressed. 
just communicate your feelings of love with her. Make sure you listen to her at this point, even if there's nothing you can do about it. I do feel like she may have the opportunity to make a choice in a bit, but she, she has to make it quickly, but they may not, even if she makes a choice, they may not honor her choice. Okay, love? Okay. It like let's just say she decided she wanted to go. I know um, there's a hospital in Mexico that does things in a completely different way. Uh, they're more holistic. They have mm -hmm. a different approach. Let's say she decided she wanted to do that. They the doctors may say no. She'll never survive that trip. She she can't be moved. And that's something. Mm -hmm to think about also, okay? So even if there was an answer, it would be very frustrating because they may not honor that answer. Okay, love? Oh, okay, I see. Okay, that's, that's what I was trying to say to you that even if you do find something that may work or may be the right answer, they may not honor it or they may not allow it. So please, just talk with her, listen to her, um, tell her just to get healthy enough to get out and you'll get her to the right place. I don't know. I don't know um, how that will work for you, but do the best you can with that. Okay, sweetie? Okay. Sounds good. Thank you so much, love, for calling in. I'm so sorry for what you're going through. And I want you to know that everybody in the chat is sending prayers to um your aunt so she has uh -huh. a lot of prayers going to her right now okay awesome thank you so much for that you're so welcome and call back in and let us know how everything's going okay okay sounds good thank you you okay. are welcome you Bye. have a good rest of the night love and i'm again i'm so sorry for what you're going through um I am going to go to the next caller, um, and the next caller is 216. 216, what's your name, and where are you calling from? 216. Hi, my name is Karen. I'm calling Ohio. How are you? I am good, thank you. And it's funny, there are two, one, two, two one sixes in a row, so I'm good. How are oh, you tonight? Wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a that's little... So I'm sorry, go ahead. I just feel so bad for the caller. I just feel so bad for her. I know. It's always so difficult. And you know what? It's She's she's a little bit, you know, if I'm dealing, not dealing with, but if I'm talking to somebody who's a little bit more mature. Um, yeah. But somebody so. It sounded young. Yes. And even if she's not young. I think she probably has not experienced a lot of this, but okay. Oh yeah. So let's get to your okay, question. My, love. My, What's going on with you? What do you need tonight? <laughs> I know. I know. Sorry to get off track. Well, um, you were very accurate. I did get a really, really good review. Thank you so much for that. Oh my gosh. And they, mm -hmm. and then a week later, they changed all of us. They, they got rid of our department and moved us all to different areas. Get that out of the blue. I'm so glad it was my job. Next week, start. Do you feel I'm going to like this job? Am I going to excel at it? I think you're going to like it a lot. You're really going to enjoy where you're moving to. I feel like it's going to be good. I feel like there's a lot of promise there, but I feel like it's there's going to be another move within the company. They're reorganizing a few things. Another one. Okay. Yes, there's going to be another okay. one. It might not. It, okay, so this, the next move, it might be another department that gets reorganized, but it will also uh -huh. in a little way affect you. But don't worry. Everything is going to, I just hear that song. Every little thing is going to be all right. Um, 
Don't worry. No. So, yes, <laughs> that one. So what I'm getting I love it. is everything is going to work out. It, it's going to be chaotic for three to four months. Go in and look at every day like it's a bit of an adventure. Go in and look at every day like it is a bit of fun. And but don't get, don't be, um, I don't feel like you would be negative about it. I do feel like you're going to be very pleased at the four month mark. You're going to be very pleased with where and how everything ends up. And they're going to be happy with you. Just keep a positive attitude as you go through it. And they will be happy okay. with you. You will be happy with them. You will be happy with the position you end up with. This might be the, this might not be the last, this might not be your final place. Um, there may be one more move for you while they're figuring everything out. But wherever you end up, you're going to love it. That's what the way I want to say that. Okay, love. That's that's interesting. I know it's just they're all over the place right now. I know. Listen, that was so wonderful. Thank you. The people are going to be nice. I'm going to. That's so important. Yeah, you know, I think. Don't worry. And again, don't worry. This Thanks. isn't the final place. Um, there will be more moves. So just take everything okay. over the next three to four months as very temporary. At the end of the four month mark, you're going to be extremely pleased with where you are and what what you have going on. And here's here's what I'm getting. They're reorganizing for a couple of reasons, but one of the reasons is they're really trying not to let people go. And in order to make everything work and run efficiently and keep as many people as possible and make their numbers look good, this is what they have to do for now. Okay? Okay. Oh, I get it. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. You are. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. You're so welcome. I hope you have an amazing rest of the, the night and um, have fun with all the changes. Thank you. And thank you again for doing what you do. Oh, I'm volunteering. That's what I, I have a nice evening. OK, you thank too. And thank you so much, love. And thank you. I'm going to go to the other 216, which is 216358. How are you tonight? <laughs> Yes. Hi. Uh, my name is Patricia. Hey, Patricia. I'm fine. Thank you for taking my. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. I like to. Uh, thank you for. I'm sorry. Go ahead, love. What's your question for the night? Ah. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, is there anything else? Uh, I'm preparing to relocate next week, uh, and I'm filling out my uh, trusted house sitter's page to be a house sitter and pet sitter. Uh, is there something else or, hmm, or someone else I could, in the way of getting housing for myself? <laughs> uh, um. I've, I have... Um, I have memberships on a few of the Facebook groups, but no response. Um, I did get one, uh, a person in El Paso, Texas, which is, about, I guess, an hour away. But other than that, um, nothing. Mm -hmm. Did some outside groups, no response. But is there anything else? No, I feel than, like... Uh, um... and I'm, I'm hearing that Bon Jovi song. Oh, living on a prayer. Take my hand and we'll make it, I swear. So I'm hearing going like on faith and a prayer and everything is going to work out and be okay. The The very oddest message I think I've ever, it's not odd, but the message I'm receiving for you, which I think is a little cuter, don't forget your keys. Like, I don't know what that means or if somebody used to say that to you all the time or you used to say that to somebody, don't forget your keys. Don't forget your keys. Um, I feel like that's the message that's coming through for you. Don't forget your keys. Um, but also, 
don't worry. Everything, once you get to where you're going, it will kind of come into place. I do feel like be very uh, vigilant, vigilant when filling out the paperwork. And be accurate. Don't say you'll watch just any dog if you don't like big Doberman pinchers. Be very clear about what you do and what you don't want as far as house sitting and or dog sitting. I think that's a really good way to go. I do feel like you're going to have a lot yeah. of, I want to use the word luck with that. But I also feel like there's going to be some some people watching out for you and bring, bringing it full circle to you, getting you into the right places. Once you get there, go to the areas you want to be and instantly start looking at them at night to make sure they're safer at night. And as I say to everybody, when you're going to an area you're not familiar with, whether it's another city, town, and or state, Stop into the police department, pick up their statistics on crime, and then ask them, you know, hey, like I would, if I were moving in, I'd say, hey, if my niece were moving in here, what would I have to warn her about? Because they'll always give you different warnings for younger adults than they will for yourself, which I don't know why, but they will. Um they're more, maybe they think because younger, like a niece would be uh, more naive. I don't know. But get the statistics of every area. If you have to be a little further out of the city, I always say that's probably better for everybody right now with some of the things going on um, to be further outside of main cities. Um, the further outside of a main city you can be, sometimes the lower the rent and also the safer it is. Um, and, and in the long run, especially. Those are some things you're going to want to look at once you get to where you're going. And the, the resources that are available in more of the country area, like because I look at it as city, suburb, country. Anything outside the, the, the suburbs, I call that country because, well, to be honest, I don't know what people call it, what the real word for that is. I call it country. So if the further you out in, in the country, the more resources they have for people because the less people are using those resources. Okay. So I feel like that's something else you should yeah. definitely look at. And depending on your age, one of the things I'm hearing is definitely there are, but you have to really seek them out. You have to like get on uh, uh, the box and tippy tap the words like uh, rental living for 55 and above. Those are some of the safer, more well-watched locations, also especially if they're further out in the country. Those are the, the tips and things I'm getting for you tonight, my love. I hope that is helpful for you. Take your time getting where you're going. Remember, life is a journey. You don't have to hurry up and get there. You'll get there exactly when you're supposed to be there. Just don't don't try to push it. Okay, beautiful girl. All right. And I'm just praying and affirming that ship my belongings. I have the money to do this by FedEx. And I'm just giving away clothing, shoes to um, city missions here. But thank you. You are so welcome, beautiful, and I hope you have, I know you'll have a safe and beautiful journey, and uh, for you and anybody else relocating or traveling, the journey is, we're going to make sure the journey is going to be safe. I get a yes, we're going to strengthen that, we're going to get there safe, yes, we're strengthening that. Um, when we get there, everything will work out, I get a yes, and we're going to strengthen that also, okay, sweetie? Um, the biggest thing yeah. I get for you is... Any, whatever they offer you, ask, don't be afraid to 
ask a few questions and get into that posi those pos those um, positions as quickly as possible. Okay, love. All right. Thank you. Have a good evening. You too. And thank you so much for calling in. Anybody who would like to call in, the call in number is um, 845-277-9131. I'm here every Monday at noon central and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. central. I also do offer private readings that go 30 or 60 minutes for somebody who has things they want to discuss in a more private uh, way and we do clearings and healings during the reading and if you would like to um, find out more about that you can go to my website which is t-o-n-i-g dot info tony g dot info and uh, it will give you the information there on all of that um, I want to let everybody know there are a lot of partnering up things coming in and on Monday's show I named a lot of partnering up things ways people were going to meet people for partnering up before the end of today's show I'll go into a little bit more of ways to meet somebody and partner up um, and we will we will get into that um, I love all of those supplements, Patrick, C, D, and zinc. Absolutely. Um, <clears throat> so that is what I'm going to say. Um, but uh, do I have time? Do I have time? I think I have time for one more person. Here we go. Um, hi, you're live on the show. What's your name and where are you calling from? I had to go to a therapy change because I was in physical. I, I was not. I'm so sorry. I'm okay. Hello, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Miss. This is Tina from Arizona. Okay, Fatima. Hi. Hi. How are you? Yes, ma'am. Hey, how are you? I love talking to you. This is my second time this year. Excellent. And I'll make it quick, okay? Okay, what's what's Thank your question, you. beautiful? What's your question? Miss, where, where am I right now? Uh, thank you, ma'am, for saying that. I mean, from law to me. Um, where, where I'm right now staying, right? Um, i just like to know if, if, I, um, if I'm not going to have any problems with a person next door or, or anybody else. I mean... But is, is, he, is the owner still going to continue to be the same with me? He's been very respectful and kind uh, and just pay the rent on time, no, no crazy, no problems, but he's still going to remain the same? Yes, yes. Okay, so what I'm getting for you, love, and I'm going to try to um, – Everything is going to go very smooth. Um, they are going to be respectful. You're going to be respectful. I do feel like when and if you relocate, it will be your choice. You're going to find something that fits you better, something that you, where you want to be that fits you better. And then you're going to choose to relocate then. You're not, everything will be going very well. You just might find something that's a little... Um, better of a fit for you, not today, not tomorrow, just down the line. If and when you do relocate, it will be your choice. Okay, love? Well, that's beautiful because I was thinking about maybe having a second location because what I want to do, I need a bigger location. So that's possible, right? Yeah, yes. Uh, and I am hearing that, again, mm -hmm. if, if you do... Um, if you do decide to relocate or have another location, it will 100% be your choice. It'll be something that you choose to do um, because you this is what you want. Um, but I do feel like where you are right now, everything is going to continue to be smooth. And it, sh it will be respectful um, on all sides. Everybody will continue to be respectful of each other. Okay, love. Um, thank you so much for calling in. I'm really grateful for that. I just want to say, um, I just want to do one more thing before the show completes today. So don't go any place yet. If you 
are in a relationship already, please go back. Please, this is just a message coming through. You don't have to do this. If you're already in a relationship, don't forget about date nights and go back to some of your original date nights or some original ways that you've dated. Go back to the old school style. If you're new to dating, if you are just single and out there wanting to date and meet somebody, some of the ways that I am seeing people meet each other. And I'm not going to give a ton right now. And I'm going to try not to repeat the ones from Monday. But some of the ways that I'm seeing people um, meeting each other, okay, this was one from Monday is like fruit picking or apple picking being outside and picking and I see really tall grass, like really tall grass, like this grass is like three feet high. I don't know what that is or where that is. But it's like bunches of it really tall. And then the other way I see um, somebody meeting or um, kind of a hook, a hookup at like, a, like a wedding. <laughs> I don't think that's the beginning of a big, beautiful relationship. If, if you're the person who has a wedding hookup coming in within a month, um, just know it's just a wedding hookup. It's not the beginning of some. Thing else. Um, the next thing I see is there are there's someone's going to meet someone at a little cafe, a little cafe. And then the last one I'm going to give, okay, no, a classes. I'm hearing a dessert bar, a champagne bar. Okay, those are two of them, but then classes like a cooking class and a, or a language learning a language uh, class or and or an art of so, some sort of art and or painting class. It's not a sip and paint. It's some place where you go to learn to do this. So like if there's a craft store offering a painting class or a, a, a cake, a place that sells cake um, supplies and decorations and they're offering cake decorating classes, I consider that art. But some classes like that or and or things along those lines are going to be pos where some people are meeting people and um, starting something new. So I hope that's helpful if you are single and trying to mingle. Those are some of the places there were a lot more on Monday's show. Um, thank you, you guys. I just love you all so much. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for liking the show and um, subscribing so you know when I come on, you get those notifications. I love each and every one of you so much. Um, until Monday, I hope you have an absolutely amazing weekend. And um, yeah, go make miracles in your life. Go do, find something you really love and just do it. Just who cares what anybody else thinks? Just find something you love and go do it. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here again. And um, until Monday, be safe, have fun. And uh, I want to hear about the miracles on Monday. Whatever you did this weekend to create a miracle, I want to hear about it on Monday. Thank you so much, everybody. Bye-bye for now.